Hey there. Today's review is for the Power Rangers Ninja Storm Thunder Megazord, which is the second Thunder Megazord we've had in the series, not to be confused with season twos um, from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So not a huge fan of the naming convention there, but it is what it is. We grow up and we move on. So this is the Megazord of the Thunder Rangers. It's been a very long time since I've seen Power Rangers Ninja Storm since it aired on television, actually. Um, so you've got Crimson, I believe it's the Crimson Insectazord, and the Navy Beetlezord, which these are bug themed and thunder themed, but mostly bug because there's not a lot of thunder to go with them. But these are pretty large detailed things. You can see my hand sort of next to them. It's pretty big, pretty hefty. Um, this is the Japanese version of uh, this set, which I believe just has some different paint apps and more die cast, um, but it's the same mold as America. I just happened to find this complete and um, in really good shape, so I went with it since it would actually work with my American ninjas. Uh, okay, I'm Ninja Steel, Ninja Storm. Let's start over. Storm Megazord by Ninja Storm, Storm Megazord, which I have not reviewed yet as of this recording, but I do own it and it is compatible, so I got it. Anyway, I have stumbled on enough. Let's look at these things. They are pretty big and pretty hefty too. These things are awesome. Um, if you've seen my Isis Megazord review, I talked about how the paint used had that kind of glimmer, that sheen, little specks of glitter in there, and these have the same thing. Um, the colors are darker, more muted, possibly because this starts out as a villainous team. I don't know a lot about Hurricaneger, but I feel like the story is close to the same, so I feel like the black and darker metal, along with the crimson, which is this a dark red, um, I feel like it really hits that aesthetic. The detail on these and not having stickers is just so nice. Like, I just love how they look. Um, the gold chrome cannons, which can aim any which way you need it to. Um, there's treads here, like there's wheels under it, but there's a little rubberized tread and it does roll. It moves on forward. I don't have a lot of room in here to do that, and I just pushed that back. But it does move, and it moves pretty well. I don't know if it's mine or if it's just the surface it's on, but it does kind of get stuck, but it's probably the surface. But it's very cool. You've got a cannon up here, which does nothing. Like I said, these fold back and in. The end is for the transformation mostly. I guess you could do blasting animations if that's the right word, because it's not. Um, but it's very heavy, very detailed, super sturdy. It looks great. I love it. So next you have um, the Navy Beetle Zord, which is along the same lines. There's very hard rubber wheels here, so they roll. These are on, I don't know what you would call these, but they're like support. I can't think of the word right now shocks almost like like in your car when you hit a bump there's a reason you're you're um for driving um your wheels move this does the same thing and it rolls as well and it rolls much better on the surface um it's pretty cool actually i'm gonna move this so i can do my favorite thing with this like i said i don't play with these often i never owned this set until this one and as of this recording until like a week ago even though i bought it a month ago and it came from japan and it took forever but that wasn't the seller's fault. Anyway, um, I'm not really going to ever play with these, but it is pretty amusing to do this. Um, in the summoning sequence, I believe he would like jump off and then crash and land, and his wheels do the same thing. Like you can push it down and keep going. So it's like an off road vehicle. But I really love to do that. It's super amusing. I'm very easily amused. Um, his Pincer closes and opens, which gives you some playability and it makes sense. Um, but again, the detail on these and the coloration is just 
Awesome. I love this design. I just, it's beautiful. So the navy has that same glimmer to it. Um, I don't know what else to say. Like, it's just, it looks really good. These pieces here are die cast. The die cast is a little more visible than in the crimson ones, in my opinion, which we'll see more of when we transform it. But it's really nice. And one of the details that I, I like in my Zords is that you can see the cockpit. So you can kind of get the idea of the scale of like a person there. Um, Navy has, or Crimson has the same thing too. We'll put him back in the shot and his cockpit is there. So these things are giant. They are great for fighting evil aliens and stuff. So um, on their own, they roll. They don't do a lot by themselves, but they have a great look and they are very pronounced and they command your attention. I know these are toys, but they just look so awesome. We'll start transforming them. I'll start with Navy because it's the legs and that's just how I like to go. Um, these, like I say, combine with the Ninja Storm Megazord, the Storm Megazord, I guess is what it, its real name is. But um, so these split, especially this one, it splits in multiple ways. So it's kind of, I find it a little difficult to transform sometimes, but that's probably just a me thing and not a you thing. Um, but first you remove the head, which splits, like I said, so I try not to, it helps if I pull it off at the right spot. It splits in the center here, but not for anything really related to this. Like I will split it in a little bit to show you something else, but just, it, it does not need to split right now. So um, this piece here folds down because it becomes a, a chest piece and a weapon. So I'm gonna put it over off to the side. This is the part I always generally mess up, but this piece here, the waist, comes out and it splits here and here in the legs. For this, you want to split it. Let's see how many times I can say split along with storm and thunder. Um, but you split it here for the legs, um, not here. And then you fold out the feet and click them into place. And it's a pretty satisfying feeling. And you're done, That that's it. As I pull this over, when I was doing my research and trying to figure out which one I wanted to buy next, even though I really liked the Thunder Megazord, I had never owned it. I was 17 or 18 when Ninja Storm premiered. And I did have the Storm Megazord, but I never bought this. And for whatever reason, looking at it, I was always scared to buy one used because it looks like there would be a lot of pieces involved, at least to me. And so I was never sure if something was complete or not, whether what people said on eBay was true or not. And it turns out it's actually not as complicated as its Megazord form looks to be. So I was kind of pleasantly surprised with that. So there's some weird trivia for you. So for uh, Crimson here, it's pretty simple actually, despite what I just said. You push these in and leave them there. I'm gonna flip it over, but you can see these few pieces, these joints, um, and there's pegs on the side of the treads, or the, I don't know what you would call it, but I'm gonna just call it the wheels. But you pop them off, and on both sides, and then you pull it down like this to form the arms. Let's see if I can keep it. Pop it there, pop it there. It's actually a pretty secure feeling. Like I said, I don't know if the American version is this heavy. I'm going to assume it is, but this piece is die cast. So there's a lot of weight in there. Um, what I like to do next is if you see these pegs here, they go into the clips there. I like to go ahead and just do that. The problem is, is it's very easy, at least on mine, to push this back into the legs. So I have to support his crotch with my finger. It's a little inappropriate and I'm sorry but it's the only way I can keep from having this really heavy top piece crush the legs. So let's see if I can do it. Oh, cool. So <clears throat> let's turn this up, turn it up. I don't know where that came from. This is not who I am. So of course this is not the finished um, mode, but you take the top half of the crimson one and it is super secure in mine. But you basically fold it backwards. Oh, well, I detached it. That's new. 
So I'm gonna leave it that way and put him back onto his legs and try to support him again. But then you take the back piece here. Sorry, oh, there's no real easy way for me to show you, but there's pegs and there's clips and they just go right there and it's, it's done. There it is, half of it's done. So next, um, the horn folds up and it becomes the head. And it's, it reminds me of the mechanism of the lion of the Galaxy Megazord, but it's not nearly as complicated. But there's a little clip piece there, not even a clip, but just a little groove that sits onto this right here. And you just snap it into place. Now, um, these pincers here move up and down, but if you do it too early, you won't be able to actually turn this piece around, which is important because it rotates the face and it rotates the cannon like out, which becomes, I just said bitch, but that wasn't what I was trying to say, which um, needs to rotate outwards. And then you put these up, otherwise you won't be able to do it. Um, so point these outward, point these up a little bit. Personally, I like how it looks there, but I believe it's supposed to be like that. It's kind of hard to see his face, but his face is there. Just the coloration does make him very dark, obviously, which is what they're going for. But there is a face in there and two eyes and a mask. And it looks like the Thunder Rangers helmets. And this is a nice combination of both of their helmet designs. So I like, I like that. Um, he is kind of back heavy because of this. Um, it's very very heavy but so he won't topple but if you give him a push he might but I guess that's sure um, true of everything so then you take this the weapon slash crest you've got your two clips they just clip right here and then you're done you've got your completed Thunder Megazord um, move this a little bit and show you it just, he's very powerful looking, which I guess is appropriate. Um, he doesn't have any articulation in his legs because of the splitting and all that, but you can rotate his arms up. You'll need to close the pincers a little bit to do it. These little pieces here get in the way of rotation, but I mean, they go around pretty easily. You can kind of manipulate his joints here to put his arms in position, but it doesn't really add or subtract from it but he could move his arms up and down. But I mean, most of my stuff just stays in standard poses because I'm boring. But uh, I really like how this guy looks. Just the coloration looks great. You can't see a lot of the crimson on it while he's got this on his chest, but that's how I prefer to display him. Um, if you want to take that off and use it as a weapon, his hands open up so you can play something in them. So you just take this off and see it split again, which was not my intention. It might just be mine that splits very easily. I don't know. But I uh, close his hand up with this inside of it, which I can't do, apparently. Um, I find it really difficult to do this. Actually, I wonder if this would be easier. Probably not. Um, I don't find it, like I said, hard to get him to actually hold this outwards because of the mechanism and just how the splitting occurs. But there you go, there's that. So that's one of his weapons. And if you display him that way, you'll get some more of the crimson coloring because it's all right there, um, which is nice. And I mean, there's some on the back, but chances are you're not gonna display him facing a wall or away from people's view, but he's there. Um, you can take this back off, which you'll notice is a theme with this review because I'm gonna use this a bit more later. Put it back together. And just because I'm me, I'm going to put it back on here, even though I'm about to take it off again. But if you've seen Ninja Storm, you know that their thing is this Power Spheres and he came with one. Again, never mind. we're just gonna leave you off. But here's Power Spheres 4. I cannot say the word sphere apparently, and I can't get this out either. So it rolls out, you close up his chest, you open it up like a Pokeball, and there's a weapon inside. So 
believe this was called the Spin Axe in America. But it's like a little miniature Zord and I don't know if you can hear, but one of my dogs is drinking her water. So you might hear some splashing, that is not me. But um, you just flip these out and it becomes more of a, it's a flower pinwheel kind of design. You fold his foot out and he can stand on his own like that, which is nice. I mean, it's cool. It does its little thing. It's very simple, nothing crazy. But more importantly, it becomes a weapon, which you can just fold that back in, flip this up, and then put it in his hands, and he has an ax. The proportions are a little weird. Um, it doesn't spin very well while it's in his hand. You can open his mouth here, which is kind of hard to do, actually, but it opens. Um, I think this weapon looks goofy. <laughs> I guess, I don't, like I said, I don't know much about Hurricane Gear, but it looks a little too goofy in my opinion, so it's not something I like. Um, but it's an option. Uh, I just, <laughs> it really looks like one of those things you played with as a kid and you would just blow air through, uh, which might have been the point, I don't know. Um, but he also combines with this, and it's kind of gonna be really hard for me to do on camera, but I'll try. I make no promises though. We'll put it down. But basically, this piece, I mean, it, it, it has to be like this. And then you actually split this and leave these handlebars. And basically, there's the tiniest way you can slide the handlebars into this little tiny groove, but you can't do it while it's not one piece. And it's not great. It's not easy to do at all, at least not for me. Let's see if I can manipulate this into working. Because he spins too, and because my handles don't stay in place, it just gives me trouble. And I don't know if that's just a me thing or if that's just how the toy was designed or what. I had to actually practice before doing this and now I can't do it again, which kind of sucks. Oh, it helps if you do it the right way. So these need to face you when you're doing it. So that might make it a little bit easier, but not by much. And I didn't do it. I didn't get the, I didn't catch it. Like a Pokemon. Ha ha, two references in one video. Oh shit, Ooh, excuse me. I am I mean, this, I don't personally have a problem with foul language. It's probably my favorite way to express myself, but I try not to use it in videos because I don't know who's gonna be watching it. So kids, if you heard that, don't say words like that. Um. So yeah, it's kind of a weird thing, but it combines into this axe claw. I'm sure it has a better name than that, but I don't remember it. Um, and it gives it a little weight um, and you can put it back in his hand to attack the enemies with, which if I were gonna display it with a weapon, this is the way it helps if you can see it. This is the way I would go about that because it just looks sturdier, bigger, more effective. But that's just me. I don't know how you want to display your toys. But yeah, I mean, he looks cool. I like him. I like how he looks in general. Like I said, I prefer him with his chest piece on, which I can do again now. But that's it. That's the video. Um, once I review the Storm Megazord at some point, we'll look at them. Man, just not on top of it tonight. Um, we'll look at them together and see their, their combined form. And, uh, yeah, but I'm very happy to own this now. It only took me nearly 20 years to get one. Reasons, things happen, that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's a cool toy. Very hefty, very heavy, um, very sturdy. At least the Japanese version is. I would assume the American one is similar. Well, I think he just doesn't want to stand, but he looks cool on the shelf. He's got great design, great coloration, just a really nice figure. So I definitely do re uh, recommend him. And I don't know, hopefully you like it as much as I do. So make sure to check me out on Instagram at Old God Machinations and then on Twitter at OG Machinations. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. Um, 
I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you next time.